I really dived into following you about five, six months ago. And a couple things that became really clear initially. I crashed on my mountain bike five years ago and broke my neck. For a long time, I wondered, what the fuck? What was this about? And in coming back into your work, I'm really seeing that I am so powerful and my resistance is so massive. And so my desire to speak with you today is because I've, in hearing you talk about or coach people, that when they know there's something they really, really, really want, but there's too much in the way for it, go general. So I've been staying away from thinking about or really focusing on this idea of being able to heal my body. Yeah. So it's not easy though, because it comes up often, doesn't it? I'm in it like all constantly. The time. Constantly. Yeah. yeah. So I, I have been focusing on other things and over the last few months, there's been some amazing things that are starting to show up and, and so I've kept seeing myself in the hot seat with you and every week or so it would change what I'd be talking to you about. And I didn't think it would be, well, back in January, I thought it was this. And then every time in between, it hasn't been uh, talking about this subject. And I'm looking for some coaching for how to softly come into opening up to the possibilities of physical healing yeah. without creating more resistance. We've been getting ready for you for a while. This conversation that's been evolving is ready for you and you're ready for it too. So let's just have fun with it for a little bit here. There are two significant things that we've been talking about and that you've been hearing that we want to amplify right now. One is the getting ready to be ready, to be ready, to be ready. And the willingness to be satisfied with where it is right now. This is the physical reality. But this is my level of satisfaction and my level of satisfaction doesn't have to be tied to this. That's the key. Your level of satisfaction cannot be tied to the results you're seeking because the results you're seeking aren't in evidence yet. Now we're saying that to everyone about everything, but it's easier to hear it, isn't it in relationship to this. So we'll keep saying it until it really clicks in in a way that you can hear it finding satisfaction period because think about it through life you've been asking for a lot of things and recently you've been asking for physical rejuvenation physical healing so that's certainly in your vortex too there are a whole lot of things in your vortex that are at various stages of gestation or ripeness or readiness for you to receive that's not the question the question isn't how far along is his healing in the vortex the question is how ready are you to match what's in the vortex so let's say there's one thing that really matters to you right now and it's obvious what it is and there are four things that are important to you that are already really feeling good to you if you focus on any one of those things that easily gives you a feeling of satisfaction, you are doing the best work for the one thing that hasn't come into alignment yet. But that's not how humans minds usually work. You want to take the problem and give your undivided attention to the problem. So you take the thing that is not satisfying and you hold yourself there in a not satisfied and therefore not connected state of being. It's natural in human dumb. It just doesn't work. And so it really is about not just about finding some distraction. Esther has been really enjoying this game of satisfaction to the point that she's pretty sure if anyone were traveling with her who didn't know her or maybe even who did, they would have her committed because sometimes she's talking right out loud about the things that are satisfying to her in the moment. She'll be walking down the ramp on the airplane saying, 
this is so satisfying. This is so satisfying. It's so satisfying. Sometimes she does the highway patrol thing that the highway patrol does in California, where they zigzag across all the lanes of traffic in order to slow everyone down. She does that with her bag. <laughs> because it's so much fun and it makes everybody behind her wonder what she's doing she just wants them to slow down and enjoy what's written on the walls in the ramp there are lots of beautiful pictures and wonderful things she's just sort of playing a game of satisfaction with life these days for no good reason other than it's sort of kind of fun just find any reason that you can find and practice it and then those things become more and more and more satisfying until the one thing that isn't satisfying becomes irrelevant in the satisfaction game so what we're asking of you is to not play a reality game we're asking you to play the satisfaction game because there's a lot that's satisfying isn't there there's a lot that's satisfying it's a remarkable chair that you have that has to be so satisfying can move that thing in amazing ways that has to be so satisfying and it minds you it does what you ask it to do it was precisely created with you in mind it is like a really good friend it is so satisfying so you can just feel the satisfaction of the maneuverability of that magnificent machine that is moving around with you and you can't feel satisfaction about that and dissatisfaction about something else at the same time it's not possible so then it turns out because everything you want's in your vortex and the only thing that keeps anybody from the full manifestation the complete manifestation of anything that's in the vortex is resistance that you've practiced well when you stop practicing resistance not because you don't have a reason to you do but because there are more satisfying things that are occupying what you're focusing upon then those improvements that you're talking about those things that are amazing that you're talking about those ideas that begin occurring to you the reception between your capable and agile mind your capable and agile ability to receive the thought of your source Ooh. once those receptors are constant every other receptor in your body kicks in that's big stuff but if you get the cart before the horse if this matters so much that then it clogs up that then that's clogged up and that improvement doesn't happen helpful yeah I, you had uh... we've been telling people for quite a while we want you to be happy anyway and sometimes they can hear it they don't like it but they take that to mean satisfied even though I don't have money satisfied even though I don't have my life partners satisfied even though that's what they think they're hearing us say it's not what we're saying we're saying satisfied not even though satisfied satisfied because not satisfied in spite of there's a difference satisfied because of these things not satisfied in spite of these things satisfied satisfied they don't want to hear it so we're asking you be satisfied anyway well that's kind of like in spite of <sighs> satisfied satisfied for this reason and this reason and as momentum picks up on those things that you're satisfied about then all kinds of things come into place because there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have you are here in this physical body as an extension of source energy source energy is the energy that creates worlds source energy is powerful energy wanting to work on the behalf of all of you but you've got to find a way to release the resistance that is not allowing you the reception of what source is offering just soft and gentle real easy not making a big deal out of it don't start to write your tell-all book about how you got up and walked already in other words just be satisfied because if you were to write the true book of this recovery the first 99 percent of it would be so boring no one would read it <laughs> I ate a grilled cheese sandwich today and it was so good <laughs> really chapter one <laughs> 